Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, launch from a boat or a jet ski. Uh, I have seen a lot of requests online about this so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, today it's probably blowing up to about 17 to 18 knots. So uh, I'm going to use a 14 meter Peter Lynn hook and uh, the Ozone uh, V4 bar. So this is the gear I'm going to be using and uh, I'm going to be pumping it up on the jet ski on the water uh, just kind of show you guys how I would launch from a boat or a jet ski and uh, I think personally this is probably the safest um, uh, logical way to do it all right so uh, check this out okay so uh, all I've done so far is just set up the kite as normal with the lines going downwind and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do a land self-rescue. So we're just going to self-rescue the bar um, as though we were going to do a self-rescue in the water. So I'll show you guys how we do that. You've got to make sure you take good care with the way you do this. And you've you got to make sure you do it really, really, um, really well and uh, don't make any mistakes all right so we're going to pull this through we're going to go all the way up to the stopper ball okay so see i've got a tangle there so you want to make sure that you don't get any tangles or twists all right so we're going to start the self-rescue here right up at the stop the ball now self rescue and you're gonna wrap the flag line crossways just crisscross on the back side of the bar just like this just like that all right so you know that one's nice and clean on the back side of the bar we're gonna use the bungees on both sides to secure that line all right now very very carefully we're gonna make sure we don't get these lines twisted you can see we have all the lines there nice and clean all right we're gonna go around and now we're going to wrap up all the lines nice and neat as neat as you can Try not to. Right now, as as it is, if we let this out, the lines are not a mess. They're perfectly fine. So now all you have to do is take care that you don't let your bar move around too much with the lines. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside. Okay. She's going to make. What we'll do is we'll do a. Uh, a half hitch here. Do this neat, guys. Okay, half hitch. Here we go. So the bar is now secured, the lines are secured, and all the lines are out of the way and not getting tangled inside the bar. Okay, so all this excess line we're going to try to get inside the kite and we're going to deflate the kite. But we're going to keep the struts inflated so make sure that you have all the, uh, all, the all these clips need to be shut closed so push these clips down make sure every single one is pushed down da, da, da. gotta do this one i've got five struts on this kite that one and that one okay right so now the leading edge is uh, ready to be deflated and then we're gonna put it on the on the jet ski and uh, 
We'll take it out and we'll pump it up. All right. Okay, so one of the things I noticed when I picked the kite up to flip it over, you want to make sure you flip it over on this side where the bar is lying on so that you don't get those lines. See how the lines are getting tangled in the kite, uh, in the bar? You want to try and try and not let that happen. Okay, there we go. So now we can deflate the leading edge, keeping those struts inflated. And once the leading edge is deflated, we're going to take all that excess line and just throw it inside the kite. There we go. So here, all the excess line here. Try and try to make sure it's kind of neat. See here, you see we've already got a twist here. So you keep these guys nice and neat and straight. Put all the line inside the kite. We're going to keep the bar out. And then roll it up all the way to the other wingtip. Keep the bar with you. Yeah, the bar's still there and the lines are clean. They haven't been twisted or anything. Everything still looks good. So notice how I'm just checking making sure that the bar doesn't get twisted with the lines while you're wrapping the kite up. Pull those lines out a little bit more. This is kind of a big kite to try to do this with on a jet ski, but I wanted to, I wanted to use a big kite because I wanted to make it challenging so that you guys can see how to do this, even if, even if it's kind of blowing light. All right, you see I got the bar here and pull it out a little bit and we're ready to go. So I got the, the kite loaded on, I've got the bar kind of sitting on the back of the ski over here, keeping it away from the, from the lines inside the kite to keep it neat and uh, ready to put the ski in. Let's do it. Got the ski in and uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, I've got the, the anchor actually sitting on the front part of the jet ski. And that's gonna help when we, uh, to keep the nose of the jet ski pointing into the wind as we pump it up, pump up the kite. All right. We're gonna need this pipe. Should probably put a, a life jacket on. I mean, it is a bit of a process, but if you've got no other choice, this is the way to do it. You kill the engine, and I'm going to throw the anchor out here. We have to anchor the the the, the ski so that the nose is pointing into the wind. And uh, then we can grab the pump and we're going to lay the kite out and uh, pump it up. There we go, we just turned around there. So now the nose is into the wind and we can sit off the back of the jet ski and pump up the kite. All right, so can't stress this enough guys, keep your bar separated 
from your kite at all times. If it gets in the lines, it's going to screw up the lines and you're going to have issues. Okay, so there you can see I've got it separated here, kind of hooking it into my leg over here. Um, probably could just, yeah, just kind of uh, take care that it doesn't fall off or something. All right, the other thing to watch out for here as well is you don't want to get water inside your kite. When you're, un when you're rolling it out, try to find that uh, the inflation point pretty quick or just keep it off the water. Yeah, I need this. There we go. There we go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That's what you want. Try to find the middle. Here's the middle of the kite. And we are golden. All we have to do now is pump up the leading edge. Now we'll just put the, uh, oops, don't want to get that pump in the water. Try not to fall off when you're doing this. Oh, let's get this a little closer to us here. You can also just uh, spin the pump around if you've got a long leash so that it makes the leash, the leash a little shorter. There we go. Okay. times a charm. All right. Pump it up. Just taking care that I don't lose my bar here. I am sitting while I do this because I don't want to fall off. It's a little, quite a bit of core strength. Pump up like this, sitting down. I don't want to work too hard. This is kiteboarding. It's supposed to be fun. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day out, man. Woo. All right, so I uh, decided to sit on the bar while I kind of finish off the kite here. Just want to make sure you don't get any twists here. You see there's a little bunch up here. Get that clean. Don't have any bunches in your lines, otherwise you will get a, some kind of a knot or a snag. You can see the flag lines over here. So all we're going to do is gonna pump it up a little more, give it some more air, and then I'm going to flip it over. Oh yeah. All right. That's solid. I'll take the pump pipe out and just close it up. Pump leash off. 
Okay, set the pump aside. We don't get it hooked in anything. There we go. All right. And then we're just gonna turn the kite over. And let it drift. And you can check your lines again, just kind of pull them straight. Make sure that they, they don't look too twisted. It looks like, there we go, look at that. That's what you want. So, hopefully, if all goes well, See how that, that line on the wingtips caught? Gotta free that up, just in case. You don't want that to get caught. You see there? That's, that's a recipe for disaster right there. All right. Okay. We are ready to rock and roll. All I'm gonna do now is just let the lines off, hold the bar with your other hand like this so that you can let the line off nice and easy and neatly. Just one, one unwind at a time. Don't let it all come off too quickly, otherwise you can lose track of it and then the lines can get messed up. So it's nice and methodically here. The key here is just attention to detail. If you can, if you can really pay attention to the details and, and really uh, notice what's going on with the lines, then you should be good. All right, we're almost there. There's another loop there, another loop, another loop. All right, almost there, almost there. Make sure your leash is hooked in by now. Okay, so now all we need to do is take the bungee off and unwind your uh, flag line. Remember to not, you don't want to let this flag line go through just yet until you got the chicken loop hooked in. So hold on to the flag line, okay, hook in your chicken loop. Keep hold of the flag line until you're ready for power. All right, now I'm ready. So start feeding the flag line through. Don't, you don't really need to grab the bar at this point. Um, you do want to try to get the kite to move to the edge of the window as soon as possible. That's going to stop it from pulling if it's downwind in the power zone. Okay, just feeding and shake it off a little here. Feed the line back through. And the flag line's all the way in. Check the lines here, and there you can see the kite is ready to launch, and it never even pulled me off the ski. And upsy daisy, there we go. All right, we are in business. Check out your two middle lines, make sure the power lines are uh, untwisted. Let's go riding. Here we go! Alright, I'm back on the ski and I'm gonna I'm gonna pack this baby away. Had a nice session. So uh, you can see the flag line is on this side, so I'm gonna bring the kite down this way. And as it comes down, and activate the release, pull the flag line. All right, and let's read it in. And we're gonna do self-rescue again to pack it away. This time you don't need to, you know, you don't have to be too methodical and neat about it, but I always just do because, you know, it's good practice. 
so nice and methodical make it nice and neat and actually when you take it out when you get back it'll be easier to take out as well it's uh, done nice and neat self-rescue good to practice this See how quickly you can do it, how well and neat you can do it, but also how quick you can do it because um, you never know when you might need it. You can also use the bar's leverage, pull it up like that, almost like you're reeling in a fish. Ooh. And reel. the last one I'm going to do. Half pitch. Just put the bar under your arm and pull the kite closer, do a twist and put the bar through the little hole that you made. Pull the half hitch. Make it tight. Bring the kite closer, put the bar in the, in the ski. You should be able to just flip the kite over. There we go. Deflate it. Remember your struts were already already clipped so and then uh, just roll it in from this side let, let the wind take it out that way let the wind take it out downwind I chose this side because this is the side that the flag line is on so it's going to be easier to roll it up from this side and just roll oh, yeah. there you go Just rolling it up. Now you can also put the excess line inside, whatever you can find. It doesn't have to be super neat. You want to have it relatively in order so that you're not having to deal with too much of a mess when you get back. Okay. Almost there. See, I got this line that's caught around the, the kite, so it's pulling the bar. Yeah, it's making it a little more tricky to roll it up. It'll work. There we go. We are back in the business. back in on this side make sure you get all your lines in tucked away you don't want your lines uh, getting caught underneath the prop or the intake in there There's another one good to go Woo! success well I hope you uh, enjoyed that and uh, I hope it uh, works out for you it's uh, it takes a bit of practice I'd say you know maybe go out and try it a few times you know 
releasing the um, the uh, self rescue and uh, relaunching it. I'm trying to do it a few times, practice it a few times, uh, you know, without being on a boat first, and then uh, or jet ski, and then uh, you know after that, if you can do it, you know, pretty seamlessly, then uh, I'd say go try it on the jet ski or the boat. All right, thanks for watching. See ya. Peace.